boys and girls. I am, I am Mrs. Rieger. I'm the speech teacher here. I know some of you know who I am, but not all of you. So for those of you who don't know me, like I said, I'm the speech teacher and I help kids with their speech and their language skills. So some of you might see me if you have trouble saying sounds, or some of you might see me for help with language. The other big area that I work with students on is stuttering. And today we are very lucky to have Olivia and Sophia with us because they come to see me for help with their stuttering and they are going to talk with you about it today. And the reason that they want to talk with you is to help you understand it a little bit better because most of us don't really know about stuttering. They also want you to know what is helpful to them and what is not helpful to them when they're stuttering. And like Mrs. Fizicki said, I need you all to show your absolute best watch for Hi today because this is a really big deal for Olivia and Sophia to talk about stuttering. Also, they are experts on this topic. And we know that an expert has a lot of knowledge and deserves to be treated with respect. Also, we know that it's not easy getting up here and talking in front of a bunch of people, right? And not only are Olivia and Sophia doing that, but they're doing something that is hard for them, which is talking. So they are amazingly brave girls for doing this presentation today. And we all know that we have things that are difficult for us, right? We can all think of many things that are hard to do. Um, one example for me is that I'm a really terrible singer. And if I had to get up in front of all of you guys right now and sing, I would probably do even worse than what I normally would because I'm in front of a big group of people and it's just harder to do things in front of a group. So I say that because Olivia and Sophia might have some extra bumps in their talking today. And that is okay because the number one thing that they want you to know about stuttering is that it's okay to stutter, it's not bad. And also we have a really important message up here too, which says, please listen to what we are saying, not how we are saying it. So that means to listen to the messages that they have and do not think about how they're coming out. They might come out smoothly, they might come out kind of bumpy. Um, sometimes we call stuttering bumpy speech. Okay, and also like Mrs. Bazicki said, we will have time for questions and answers at the very, for questions and comments at the very end. So just be remembering them in your brain so that when we get to the end, we can have that time. All right, and now I introduce to you Miss Olivia and Miss Sophia, two very brave experts on stuttering. What you need to know. By Olivia Hinn and Sophia Kajaski. About Olivia. I'm an actress, I, and I've been in Annie Willy Will 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 Wonka, the best Christmas pageant ever, Aladdin, Charlie Brown slash Christmas Carol Rag and Will Marmite. My, my favorite color is neon blue. I study dance for seven years. I take singing, singing lessons. I have a dog named Jack, and he's a Bichon Poodle. My dad has two brothers as well, so it's a sister, and my mom has three twin sisters. I'm a good friend. I sometimes have bumpy speech. About me, I'm an actress at the at the Minnesota Renaissance. Purple. 
Rachel. I'm a good singer and dancer. I am very loud and family. I'm a good friend. I have a flexible body. I'm very stubborn and sometimes I talk really fast and have lovely speech. And that's okay. And I want to just point out that both of these girls are performers. They both act. And how cool is that, given that they sometimes have lovely speech? Amazing. Have you ever wondered? What is stuttering? Why do people stutter? Who stutters? What, no, what does it feel? What can you do to do about it? We have your answers. What in the world is stuttering? Not be, be, being able to talk the way you, you want to. We haven't been a part of the speech next mechanism, including gloves, vocal cords, tongue, lips, and teeth, don't work in a coordinated way. What does it sound and look like? No, no beating a sound or word. Well, we have a sound for too long. Getting com completely stuck, not being able to get any sound out. Sometimes different facial and body movements, such as, such as rocking, hand motions, bouncing up and down, blinking eyes, and tightening the movement. These are called secondary characteristics. Just, just so those are things that might happen as a person is stuttering on the words in their mouth. Usually, the harder a person tries not to stutter, the more they stutter. Stuttering does not have anything to, to do with, with, with how smart, smart I am. Happening because I'm nervous. Stuttering is not my fault. What causes stuttering? We don't know for, 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 for sure. Scientists and, and researchers continue to look for a cause. We do know that genetics can contribute to stuttering. 60% so, of, of people who see stutter have a family member who stutters also. What does stuttering sometimes feel like to us? Frustrating, embarrassing. It's 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 worse when I read 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 the thing aloud. It's worse when I feel rushed or when I'm scared. I I don't feel in in control. Imagine riding a, a, a bike on on a bumpy road with the tire in the handlebars. Who stutters? We all do. Some of us just stutter more and more and more than others. We all sometimes have little bumps in our speech. Six smart and successful people, including doctors, actors, lawyers, scientists, athletes, teachers, business people, singers, <laughs> and writers. Any famous people? Famous people who stutter. James Earl Jones. Broadway and TV star who plays the voice of Darth Vader. Joe Biden, Vice President of the United States. Finally got his last name right. John Stossel, a, a very successful TV news reporter. Marilyn Wall, she was a famous Sproles, NFL star player. King George the Sixth, King of England from 1937 to 1952. Known for his courage in the radio broadcast during World War II, the movie's King's Speech. It's about him. Season 12.
Bob, I'm of American Idol contestant. He did not let his sudden sighting define him. His success had the entire country to talking about singing and stuttering. And we have a video to show you guys right now of when Lazaro auditioned for American Idol. This was about three years ago. And one thing that I just want to say is that people stutter in different ways and at different levels. So you'll notice that Lazaro stutters a lot. And he also will have the secondary characteristics that Olivia mentioned, where sometimes his body gets involved with his stuttering too. You'll see a lot of movements with his hand. Um, and I just want you to be watching also for the interesting thing that happens when he sings. My name is Lazaro. Okay. I'm from um, Cuba. Okay. And I'm 